en question. Le président. The president. Vous Please be seated. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Pick on, you may now proceed. Maître Pickang, je vous en prie, And la parole est à vous. Informed the chamber also on the outcome of uh, your consultation with Quand your client before de vos consultations we could avec proceed. Votre client. In particular, the result nous en of the request for protective measures. En ce qui concerne la demande de mesures de protection. La partie civile a indiqué clairement qu'elle n'entendait pas continuer à déposer s'il n'était pas fait droit à sa demande. We already consulted Merci, uh, this with him, and Nous we nous avons consulté la partie focused, civile. Uh, the attention on the value and quality of uh, the Testimonies of Mr. Sarsaran during his proceedings. À la Nonetheless, uh, Mr. Sarsaran is still Cependant, concerned regarding his safety. Maintient ses préoccupations and concernant sa sécurité. He has not uh, made it precisely clear in his request uh, as to which Dans sa demande, particular protective measures uh, he would like uh, to be granted. De de With that, uh, allow me to say a few things uh, à ce propos, concerning the request, précisions. if uh, Mr. President and Your Honor allow me to do that. Or maybe... Uh, your can, le faire uh, with, uh, the présent, chamber can allow him to say that in the closed session à moins que la chambre hearing, ne demande rather. à la partie civile and also d'en parler à huis clos par ailleurs possible that uh, Mr. Sarsaran can be heard on evidence uh, Sar it would be Sarin a uh, good idea that the sessions are conducted in a closed session. Continuer oh. à déposer à huis clos. Bah, encore... The President, uh, thank you, Council. Before Le President. we proceed to hear Merci, the Maître. detail request uh, by count of uh, the civil party, we would like uh, to also ask uh, Mr. Sauceren whether he has obtained a record of interview conducted uh, by the co rather by the members of the C DCKM on the 5th and 6th of May 2009, the transcription of the recording. Effectué par and DCKM this morning, 5 et 6 mai 2009. however, the chamber notes uh, that uh, you have obtained a document. Ce matin, la chambre a constaté que vous aviez obtenu certains documents. You obtained document D230-1.1. Uh, rather, point eighteen seventy four C. With that, may we ask whether you have reviewed this document uh, bef before you appeared uh, before this chamber? Ce document avant de comparaître dans ce prétoire? If so, is the content or si are oui, the accounts of such uh, interview still relevant and consistent with uh, the statement Ce you gave earlier. Aux déclarations que vous avez faites. Response, I have already read the document and the content is relevant to Mr. President. Il est fidèle à mes déclarations. The President, uh, is it our understanding that you Le read the document vous avez and donc that lu it ce is document? relevant uh, or, or consistent? Et il Response, est à vos déclarations. I haven't read uh, the document uh, before Mr. President, but I recognize uh, that these camp people have done their job very well. Mais les gens du DCK ont fait un très bon travail.
The President. Le président. Mr. Sarsarin. Monsieur We have a very Sarsarin. short question. Nous avons une question très simple à vous poser. What if the chamber hears uh, your testimony in closed session? Que pensez-vous? Would you also de provide your testimony if the session is in camera? Êtes-vous prêt à témoigner si nous passons au huis clos? Response. Mr. President. Uh, Réponse. Monsieur le Président, if the session is in camera and yet my request this morning is not granted, I'm afraid, Mr. President, I will not. Uh, vous pouvez décider Proceed de passer à huis clos, mais si ma demande de ce matin n'est pas acceptée, je refuserai de répondre à des questions. Uh, and that uh, now the president uh, council le can président. you please uh, remain seated Maître and we would like to hear councils uh, on les the other side first and we will make sure you can be heard also de now we would like to give the floor Nous to the lawyers and the co-prosecutors to make an observation on this. Now we can see clearly that uh, the civil party has said uh, precisely what he wants. It doesn't matter whether the session is in camera or public. He would not want to testify unless his request this morning is entertained. He would like the United Nations and the royal government of Cambodia grant him protective measures, a lifelong protective measure. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, it is uh, important also if uh, uh, we seek uh, further clarification from him to make sure we understand uh, his position more precisely. And that is our uh, submission, Mr. Voilà President. The President, uh, the Chamber oui, wish président. not uh, hear again from him because it has la been pas an equivocal already uh, that uh, the message he has already conveyed. And first, uh, we thought that uh, since the session was in public, that's why he would not wish to testify for that reason. But now we asked whether uh, he would do that in Nous closed session, si and he said, uh, no, either. No. Clair. Council, Council uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, President. President. I would like uh, just to Merci, inform the chamber that uh, this civil party has very good pieces of Que la partie civile Truth and fact, uh, a des renseignements to très intéressants à for the chamber and it is very important that the witness testimony is heard. Il est très important que l'on entende la déposition de cette partie civile. As much as possible. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, look, you can't talk much. The President, Judge Lavergne, you Lavergne, may now proceed. Vous pouvez prendre la parole. Oui. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Juste une question à la partie civile. One question, Monsieur Sarsarin, pourriez-vous préciser Sarsarine, à la Chambre quelles mesures exactement vous souhaiteriez voir mettre, exactly être mises en place pour assurer votre protection Ce que nous avons entendu, euh, que vous avez demandé, est-ce que le gouvernement du Cambodge et des Nations Unies uh, se prononcent sur une mesure de protection, mais quelle est celle que vous demandez exactement Qu'est-ce que vous demandez The President, uh, International Co Prosecutor, could you please be seated and we would like to hear from civil party first, uh, then you may proceed. Civil party, 
Thank you, Mr. President. My request for protective Merci, measures can be entertained by uh, or from the authority, the police. Perhaps I need for people to give me protection from today until the day I die. Quatre personnes qui peuvent assurer ma, pro ma garde rapprochée uh, jusqu'à la fin de mes jours. Am not able to pay for this, uh, Je n'ai pas les moyens close de protection me officers. Uh, uh, I am afraid I cannot afford that. Uh, it has to be borne by the state. Et and I would not wish uh, or ask uh, for food to be offered to me for free because I can be on my own uh, uh, on this. Uh, th th that's all I would like uh, to have. The Mais President, uh, International Court Prosecutor, you may now proceed. La parole est au procureur. Mr. Mr. President, thank you very much and good afternoon to everyone. President, bon Mr. President, can I please Monsieur respectfully uh, suggest that the first stage here is that Mr. Sarsarin should be invited in closed session to be asked questions by the lead civil lawyers, by me, by the judges, if they have any further questions, civile de and by all counsel. Because the court needs to determine under the rules which do apply to this procedure. Car en effet, la chambre doit entendre questions about special measures. I'm distinctly uncomfortable with even what's happened so far since lunch pour pouvoir prendre les mesures qui s'imposent taking le place in open court. Et je suis très mal à l'aise avec ce débat en débat public. Nous devons nous conformer aux règles. And that means hearing et c'est not just hearing questions non from Mr. Sarin in response to the judges, réponse de Monsieur but questions that parties may wish juges, to ask, que in hinging on whether protective measures are appropriate, pour what si protective les mesures de protection are sont appropriate, appropriate what's been explained, been explained to this civil party about protective measures, ce, and yes, that may be repeating part of what we've été. already heard. But in my respectful submission, we are short-circuiting this procedure, and it has to start with a closed Elle session, with everyone being able to ask tout le monde relevant pour questions ensuite poser of Mr. Questions Sarsarin. Importante. Then the court can determine whether any protective measures are applicable or can be applied. Can be applied. And then the final determination impose. is, if special measures Et cannot be applied, how is Mr. Sarin's evidence to be received by the court? Comment le tribunal peut-il entendre le témoignage de M. Sarin advenant la possibilité qu'il n'y ait pas de mesure de protection? Must be able to participate in that exercise. Et toutes les parties doivent être so I'm capables de participer au débat. Je demande donc que l'on passe au huis clos à la demande des corps principaux pour les parties civiles et pour qu'eux puissent poser des questions à la partie civile, tout comme moi. Involved. I would respectfully submit that that's in accordance with international standards. Je dirais que cela se fait en application avec les normes internationales en vigueur au TPI grec et certainement la façon dont on, à la procédure que l'on retiendrait dans un tribunal de common law. Merci. Le Président. President, uh, Mr. Cope, could you please Maître be seated? Cope, I would like a legal lawyer for the civil uh, parties uh, to proceed first, and you would be offered the floor. Je rappelle à titre préliminaire, avant de commencer mes observations, que c'est une partie civile et non pas un témoin que nous avons devant nous et qu'il est donc accompagné d'avocats. Je voudrais également indiquer que nous avons passé un certain temps avec cette partie civile pendant le temps du déjeuner et que nous avons fait ce que nous avions à faire, c'est-à-dire savoir exactement ce qu'ils souhaitaient et savoir pourquoi ils le souhaitaient. Et je crois qu'il appartient aux avocats des parties civiles de faire ce travail et non pas à toutes les parties, même si c'est à huis clos. Je crois que c'était le travail de ces avocats d'essayer de savoir 
quelles mesures de protection ils souhaitaient avoir et pourquoi. Je ne crois pas que l'attribution de mesures de protection doivent faire l'objet d'un débat entre les parties. Je ne crois pas que ce soit le cas dans le droit romano-germanique et je ne crois pas que ce soit le cas non plus devant les CETC, ni devant le juge d'instruction, ni devant la Chambre. Cela étant, si la Chambre décide que nous devons avoir un débat ici sur les mesures protectives, il est évident que ce débat doit se faire à huis clos. Pour moi, il n'y a pas lieu de débattre. Ce monsieur a dit clairement ce qu'il voulait comme mesure de protection. J'allais le lui faire dire, je me suis levé, mais trop tard, une fois de plus. Je pense que ce monsieur a dit ce qu'il voulait, je ne crois pas qu'il y ait lieu un débat. Si ce débat doit avoir lieu, je vous demande effectivement de le faire à huis clos, c'est la moindre des choses. That is why the chamber allowed chambre, uh, the lead call lawyers for the civil parties a uh, time during lunch uh, adjournment to discuss this enfin, uh, with uh, civil uh, the civil party. And lead call lawyers represented by Et the National Council informed the chamber uh, that uh, they could not uh, convince uh, the, the uh, civil party to give testimony because he has uh, maintained his uh, position. And then uh, he, uh, the legal lawyer proceeded to request for a closed session. And the chamber also took uh, that Seriously, and we asked uh, him the question whether he would uh, testify if the session were to be conducted in Camera, and he said uh, he would not be willing to do that. This morning, he asked that the United Nations and the government of Cambodia provide protective measures for for the rest of his life, but recently he just emphasized that jour. he only asked that dire. the royal government of Cambodia provide protection by assigning four il demande, il demande protection en fait que officers uh, lui to affect, uh, help enfin, him to uh, give pro protection, protection to him for from now until his, um, his uh, last day. And um, that's what uh, we've been proceeding and we note also that uh, the parties uh, would like the session to be in camera session although part of the morning sessions uh, were in public and the chamber also uh, noted that we would like to ask uh, the civil party to see if we could conduct chambre. the proceeding in camera whether we would proceed but the, we now learned uh, that demand, it is impossible and as a civil party we civil, assign we uh, with regard to the civil party we rely on the VESU unit uh, to assist us in bringing the civil party or witnesses. And with this, uh, we also been notified uh, of uh, the information the civil party or witness uh, may provide uh, or may request. Uh, and finally, through the letter we uh, obtained from the VESU unit, Et dans cette uh, lettre officers que nous avons uh, were assigned to consult with the civil party regarding the date of his testimony. On those occasions, the civil party déposer, never voiced uh, his concerns. He was very concerned that he would be away from his pumpkin plantation because 
by way of coming to the court, he may not be able to harvest the pumpkins. That's what we learned uh, from the letter. We did not learn anything about the protective measures he uh, requested. Uh, and uh, when it comes to protective measure, we have Rule 29. Subparagraph 4 e regarding la règle 29, the, um, the hearing uh, regard, uh, which um, Prévoir. in which the request for protective measure may be submitted uh, belatedly. De déposer. And uh, we already discussed uh, this issue, and that uh, in the moment Nous we will proceed to discuter. rule upon this matter. La Chambre se prononcera sous peu sur la question dont elle est saisie.
The chamber would like to hand over to Judge Sylvia Cartwright. She may proceed now. Thank you, President. Uh, as you have noted, the um, uh, judges have deliberated on the prosecutor's request that uh, we uh, go into closed session in order to hear the reasons for uh, the civil parties um, uh, wish not to speak in open court uh, and uh, further to explore his request for um, protective measures. The um, application is opposed by the lead co-lawyers, but they have uh, indicated that should we think it appropriate to go into closed, uh, should we be discussing these matters any further, then it would be better to go into closed session. Uh, we simply now wish to hear from the defence counsel on the narrow point of whether we go into closed session to discuss the request made by the civil party. Um, and we will deal with any subsequent issues such as in what manner he might give evidence uh, once we've had the uh, initial discussion. Uh, is that clear to defence counsel? Thank you. Thank vous you, President. Merci, Monsieur Président. Thank you, President. Thank you, Judge Cartwright. Um, I think for the defence, the matter is quite clear. Pour la défense, uh, the, wit uh, the witness of the civil party has decided to, um, today to take us all by surprise and de come de with his wish uh, for protective measures. Et de uh, the des public de uh, is following this debate, I'm sure, with, um, with a large extent of surprise. Autant de surprise. Um, in the interest of transparency, I think it is very important Et that uh, the debate whether uh, the civil party should be awarded protective measures, should be done in public. Sur, uh, uh, le the public has a right to know what the applicable law is, public. what the relevant effet, le case law is, quel est le droit uh, quels sont les how the standard of adjudication of review is to be applied la norme by the chamber. For instance, um, la chambre, tout cela doit as être you are du well aware, you have um, in, in case one made an early decision bien, vous avez rendu une um, uh, in, in respect of protective measures for civil parties, parties pour les de the boundaries of what the law is um, are well known to, to this chamber, but should be, in my opinion, discussed in court. Moi, the, only things, the only issues which I could uh, foresee which need discussion in an eventual um, closed session are, for instance, which specific uh, measures might be needed if they are uh, awarded, and for instance, issue, si issues of uh, concrete um, uh, fear, concrete si indications of fear with uh, the, the civil la party. Civile, uh, All other issues should be a matter of public debate and we should not, especially now, en public, uh, et with the public watching all day going to a closed que uh, session le que nous a suivi ce matin, to argue the legal nous ne uh, merits pas au of uh, pour this matter. Des so we oppose uh, the request. À cette pourquoi la défense s'oppose à la demande. The President, uh, thank you. Merci now, Council for Mr. Kirsten Pond, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Très brièvement, sur la question du huis clos, euh, nous sommes également d'avis que la question du huis clos à ce stade-ci euh, est un petit peu biaisée, enfin la question est biaisée, puisque depuis le début de la matinée, euh, la partie civile euh, s'est exprimée euh, en audience publique. Elle a fait part de ses craintes en audience publique. Elle a fait sa demande spécifique de mesures de protection en audience publique. Je ne vois pas très bien ce que nous aurions de plus à passer à huis clos. Et je pense que la nature du débat qui s'est tenu en audience publique jusqu'à présent fait que le public a effectivement le droit d'être informé sur quelle base, sur quel fondement, 
la décision que devra prendre la Chambre plus tard sera fondée. Voilà. Donc, euh, je pense que la question aurait été différente si, dès le départ, ce matin, euh, la question s'était posée et que les avocats des partis civils ou la partie civile elle-même avaient posé ce problème avant que l'on aborde un quelconque débat au fond ou un, con, un quelconque débat sur la question des mesures de protection. Mais maintenant que nous avons déjà évoqué tous les points en audience publique, je ne comprends pas pourquoi à ce stade-ci, on devrait passer à huis clos. Ce n'est pas logique et ça ne correspond pas à ce qui s'est passé depuis ce matin. Voilà, donc nous nous opposons à la demande telle que formulée. Maintenant, vous apprécierez. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs de la Chambre. Thank you. Now, National Council for Mr. Kilsom Pond, you may proceed. Council Kilsom Pond. Thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours. Good afternoon. I note that the debate so far has been precisely clear on the purpose of civil parties' request. Mr. Saren's position is clear. Uh, it doesn't matter whether the hearing is in camera or in public. public. If his request is not entertained or protective measures are not granted, he would not be willing to si la pas testify. De la refuse de I am optimistic up the opinion that it is not necessary to conduct the proceedings in camera sessions. Il donc pas utile de passer au clos. Legal lawyers for the civil parties have been doing or performing their tasks uh, for the interests of the civil party and as long as uh, they have been Les working uh, to consult with their client, then there should not be a closed session hearing. The president, les uh, des parties civiles et ont les lawyer for the civil party, you may now et proceed donc back. Nous pas passer au Please uh, confine your position to only uh, responding to Le the submission made by Council for Mr. Council Pekang. Thank you, Mr. President Maître and Your Honours. I Monsieur am now responding to this. Madame, Monsieur les Juges, je réponds à ce qui vient d'être dit. What happened? Uh, it happened by the end of uh, this morning session, and uh, for us, we believe that the key Tout issue cela a commencé à la fin de la uh, that trigger the concerns of Mr. Sarun is the fear of for hey. his security and for that uh, he is reluctant Monsieur to Sar -Sarun give the testimonies craint pour sa and sécurité. Pourquoi uh, il a des we believe that réticences. Uh, whether the protective measures are granted or not, in the future, we would like uh, the Chamber to consider the conditions under which Mr. Sarsaran's testimony can be uh, conducted, because uh, we would like the session uh, where his testimony can be uh, conducted so that we can hear him. Mais nous voulons qu'ils soient entendus.
Look, uh, the president, Mr. Sorsarin. Monsieur Sorsarin. The chamber wishes to advise you that your request for the Royal Government of Cambodia and the United Nations to provide uh, you protection une protection from now à compter de ce moment and for the rest of your life et pour le restant de vos jours appropriate une telle demande we n'est pas also wish to advise you that the chamber does not have any La jurisdiction uh, to provide you such a protection and we do not have any uh, protection in place to provide to you for the rest of your life nous permettant de vous accorder une telle protection pour le restant de vos jours. Uh, en conséquence de quoi, la Chambre décide de mettre now, fin à votre comparution. Vous pouvez à présent rentrer chez vous ou vous rendre à n'importe quel autre endroit. Court vous officer is now instructed to coordinate with the victim support section to arrange the transport of uh, these uh, civil party back home. The President, the Chamber wishes to advise parties that the remaining time of the day today, we will hear the testimony of uh, TCW752 and this uh, testimony will begin by question put by the prosecutor first. However, the time is now appropriate lieu. for the afternoon uh, break. Temps, the chamber will adjourn now and pause. resume at 3. The court is adjourned. Suspension de l'audience.